Hello and welcome to Bossing English with Mr. F. Today we're going to look at something a bit different, uh, the opening of an essay uh, answer to a Jekyll and Hyde question from uh, AQA Literature Paper 1, and it will be in that grade 7 to 9 category. Okay, so we have a question that you may have encountered or you may encounter um, it's from one of the specimen papers. How does Stevenson present Hyde as a frightening outsider? Our first job is to look at the question keyword, how, so which is really talking about methods and that links to present as well, which is methods and their effect on the reader. We have a focus, which is this character. Doesn't mean we can't talk about themes that are linked to this character. It doesn't mean we can't talk about other characters and their relation to this character. And then this is really a, a key phrase uh, and how we interpret this will give our personal response to this question. The extract is from chapter two. We have common friends. It's where Mr. Utterson meets Hyde uh, and uh, talks to him for the first time, uh, and this is the response. Um, so I'm gonna read through this. Uh, now, in the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Robert Stevenson presents Edward Hyde as an evil and monstrous creature, threatening the respectable Victorian social norms, which Utterson represents. He does this through graphic descriptions of Hyde's unusual behavior and horrifying appearance. In this extract, for instance, he uses animalistic language to describe how Hyde behaves. His laugh is described negatively as savage, and he snarled at Utterson, a verb which has beast-like connotations of a rabid dog or wolf. This shows the reader that Hyde has inhuman qualities which terrify Utterson, who is the picture of disquietude, a metaphor which suggests he is a perfect example of unease. Later in the extract, he uses the adjective troglodytic to describe him. This denotes a cave dweller. Stevenson wants to portray him as someone less evolved. Stevenson is drawing on the Victorian sense of panic, of man's primitive nature within, generated by Darwin's evolutionary work, The Descent of Man. When Enfield encounters Hyde in chapter one in the girl trampling scene, he uses the emotive verb loathing to describe his feelings about Hyde, whilst the doctor turns sick and white with a desire to kill him. This shows us how visceral the effect of Hyde's appearance and actions are on the respectable, educated London citizen he meets. Okay, so it's a very strong, detailed, dense response. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how that is hitting those assessment objectives. Now, what you could do is pause the video and have a go yourself at where you can find those assessment objectives being met in this paragraph, and then you can move on to the next slide. Let me just have a quick, uh, time check here. Uh, okay, let's crack on. All right, so what we notice is that this uh, response answers the question directly. So it's getting straight into uh, how Edward Hyde is being presented as an evil and monstrous creature. Uh, and we even get some context uh, thrown in there as well, nicely embedded. So it's a, I would, don't do any preambles, don't do any art. Today I'm going to talk about how, just start answering the question directly like this. Okay, and then we start getting onto methods. He, his use of graphic descriptions, which is our AO2, and, there are, uh, and what effect that they have. We then get some terminology, animalistic language, and we get examples of that nicely embedded quote, just one word, savage and snarled, and some more subject terminology, a verb, and the effect that this has, so a bit of deeper language analysis. This shows the reader about the inhuman qualities. Another embedded quote, another piece of subject terminology, and another uh, more, a bit more analysis there. I then link this idea with something that happens at, you know, at, at the start uh, of the extract to something later in the extract. Uh, uh, troglodytic, embedded quote, adjective, subject terminology, and I explore the effect of that as well. I then embed some context here, uh, which is about Darwin and the descent of man, which was kind of a moral panic happening at the time in Victorian England, and then Having done all this on the extract, I decide to zoom out to the wider text, which is my AO1 here. So I go to chapter one and the trampling scene, and we have an emotive verb, loathing, uh, and, and we're getting other characters' reactions to um, Hyde, which I think is useful for this frightening outsider, because we have uh, Utterson's reaction, but how nice to have some other reactions, which is Enfield and Hyde. Uh, and then I link back to the question, uh, at the very end of this paragraph. I'll just quickly have a time check. Hopefully that has been useful. Click like uh, and subscribe for more videos uh, and I'll be back soon with something else.